So this is a bluet. It is an edible mushroom, so you can eat this. You'll note the gills are very crowded and they're slightly notched and attached to the stem. Also, the stem is lighter than the cap, right? So there's little white fibrils on the stem that make it a little bit lighter looking. Also, the lilac color and it should have a pink spore print. Um, the stem is wider at the base, as you see there, um, and the cap tends to be lilac to brown. Um, so next step, if, if you find these bluets, is to do a spore print to make sure you're of your identification. Just a note how to do a spore print. So you're going to take the cap of this mushroom and I'm going to set it down. Actually, you can even just leave it like this. Set it down on a white piece of paper and leave it overnight. And you'll see that the spores or the microscopic seeds of the mushroom dump out onto the paper and make a color. And if that's pink or sort of beige, that's correct for this mushroom's identification. So spore print's really important to identifying this species. Um, and also there are some um, other mushrooms that can look like this that can give you some stomach upsets. So make sure you know what your mushroom is before you choose to consume it. There you go. That's your knowledge for today on mushrooms. So that you might also want to know what they smell like. So they smell a bit like um, they're orange juicy or sort of fruity and a bit floral smelling, so mild and mushroomy. Um, you also might, um, if you do a chew and spit test with them, so you can see that little bit I took out of the cap. Um, so you chew that and you spit that out and you might get a slight peppery note, but mostly it's going to taste yummy and mushroomy. You have to cook bluets just so you know. Um, and yeah, they're good and tasty. So there you go. Pacific Nor Northwest mushroom that you might find in the mountains or at roadsides or in grasses. So there's multiple environments you might find this in. So, so this little puppy's in the kitchen now and I'm gonna cook him up. If you wanna learn more about wild edible mushrooms of the Pacific Northwest, take our online mushroom foraging program or come out on an infield trip in Vancouver in fall with me, swallowtail.ca.